Hey there. <laughs> Hi, I'm Allie, and today I'm going to be showing you some hairstyles for shortish hair. I have hair probably right here, you'll see it in the clips, but um, I've had a hard time trying to figure out what to do with my hair a little bit because I've always had super long hair and uh, I didn't have very many hairstyles to implement on my hair. So I will be showing you six different hairstyles. I hope you enjoy. Stick around to the end. I'd appreciate it. Hi everyone, Audio Alley here. I'm going to teach you how to do all the hairstyles I talked about in my intro. For this first one and for all the ones after, you're going to want to start out with brushing your hair. And I'm doing a half up, half down look here. So you're going to want to start at your ears and drag your thumbs up through your hair in kind of a triangle to get the part that you want. Brush it out smooth and put it up with an elastic. Tug at the pony to make it stick up more and tug at the hair in front on your head to get it a little more voluminous and pull out some end pieces. Right here I'm taking a bobby pin and pinning the elastic down to my head to make the ponytail stand up a little bit more. I just like a lot of volume in the front bit of my hair, in the crown? No, not the crown, whatever the front bit of your hair is called. And just keep tugging at it until you get the look that you want. And this is the finished look. For this next hairstyle, you're going to keep the same hairstyle you just did, but you're going to twist the ponytail around and gently tug on the pieces of hair to make it a little more voluminous. Don't tug too much, especially if you have short hair or layers or they'll start to pop out. Next you're going to want to wrap the ponytail around itself and pin it in place. Tug on the bun a little bit and just pin in different places if you need to to get it to look the way you want. And here's the finished look. For this next look, start out by brushing your hair, obviously, and parting your hair as far to the left as you can. Next, section off the front bit of your hair from ear to ear. Elastic the rest of your hair back into a ponytail, and start off by grabbing just a small chunk at the end of this part. We're going to be braiding, so you're going to want to break it into three sections. We're going to be doing a Dutch lace braid, which means that you are folding each outer piece under the middle and you're only adding hair to one side, which will be the front of our face. So I like to start off by doing a few folds first and then slowly adding in hair little by little. And we're only adding in hair at the front of our head. We are not adding hair to the back strand. So keep folding under the middle, right under, then left under, then right under, then left under all the way till you get to the bottom and all the hair is gone and then you're going to braid it all the way down the rest of the way. Yeah, please excuse the lighting in this video, it kept changing and I just wanted to make it look good but I use natural light and whatever lamps I can find so <laughs> elastic off the end of your braid and tug a little bit on it, just a little bit, just to give it a little more volume. You can tug all the way down. Then you're going to want to take the rest of your hair out of its elastic and put it into kind of a mid-length pony. You can do what I did and bite the braid out of the way. <laughs> so not too high of a pony, not too low of a pony. Then you're going to take the braid and add it to the hair and elastic that all off. Once it's all elastic, you can remove the elastic that is holding the braid together. That way you don't have a chunk in your ponytail and it looks seamless. I like to tug on the ponytail to make it stand up a little bit more and also tug on the rest of my hair to make it a little more voluminous and pull out my baby hairs, but that's just personal preference. And here's the finished look.
this next one is going to be a double braid so you're going to want to part your hair down the center I recommend using a comb if you have one but I didn't have one so it made it a little bit difficult this time we're going to be doing a French braid but we are going to also be doing a lace braid which means that you only add hair from the outside so I'm not going to be adding hair from the center part of my scalp so only on the edge <laughs> that makes sense so you're going to do the same thing as before and grab a little chunk of hair break it into three and braid a few sections before you start adding hair so braid the right side over the center then the left side over the center then you're going to add strands only to the outside of the braid so as you can see here I'm only adding from the side with my ear and just braid all the way down and secure it with an elastic when you're done. Then you can remove the other side elastic and repeat the same process on your other side and then voila, you have a double braid, double lace French braid, very fancy. And here is the finished look. I think it's super duper cute. And it keeps your hair out of your way. It would look nicer if I had used a comb, but whatever. For this next look it is going to be a messy bun, but we still want to brush our hair to make sure it's all not full of knots. Put your hair up into a high pony. And then wrap your elastic around once, pull your hair halfway through, twist it, and pull the elastic over. So you're kind of elasticing the ends down as you make the bun. Pull it out a little bit, and then what you're going to want to do is make a claw shape with your hand and just squish it into your bun. Down wherever your fingers are, you're going to put a bobby pin at each one of your fingers. This just helps to give the bun some natural shape and then when you're done, you can add a few more pins if you need it. But I like this look way better than just leaving it as before, because I think before looks a little weird. Once I took my hand out, I just added bobby pins wherever I thought I needed them. I'm also going to, after this, tug at my hair to give it a little more volume. And also pull out my baby hairs, but again, that is just personal preference. And voila, the finished messy bun for short hair. To add a little bit of a twist onto this hair, you can add, but that was an awful drum roll, a bandana. It looks super cute in my opinion. So all I do is tie it, double knot it onto my head. And then just tuck the ends underneath. I don't really like the way it looks when they're sticking out, but if you do, good for you. I just don't think it works on me. Voila. For the final look, this is going to be a low bun with a clip. If you don't have a clip, you can just do the messy bun tutorial as before, but I think the clip looks really cute. So just gather all your hair into a low pony at the back of your head and brush it out smooth. I like this one a little bit more sleek. You're going to twist your hair into just keep twisting it around itself but you don't want to pull the strands out just keep twisting and wrapping it around itself until you've got a little ball and then grab onto it and put the clip over the top and 
Then I like to pull out my baby hairs and tug on my hair again to give it some more volume and kind of a windblown look. And it's as simple as that and I think it's super cute and it looks like you spent more time on your hair than you actually did. I hope you enjoyed these hair tutorials. <laughs> if you learned anything or if you like this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. I'm at 12 now. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's get it up to 13. 13 is my lucky number, so will you be the 13th? <laughs> well, I will see you all in my next video and I really appreciate everyone who watches. Thanks. Bye.